Namaste. For today, let's have a closer look at Ustrasana and Kapotasana. We'll be focusing on the shoulders, yeah, the, the arms in general, as well as how we can utilize our toes and the other important aspects such as the breath and coordination, synchronicity in supporting us on our way to the back of the body. Okay, so kneeling back bends, we start hip width or even narrower because later on as you suspend backwards, your knees will just open involuntarily to make room for the hips moving forward. All right, so I've given many tutorials about back bending. You may have a look at them so you can appreciate yeah, the other components. But my goal for this tutorial is for you yeah, to feel relaxed. Yeah, so we will be doing swaying like a dance-like motion as we work our way back. And this is how I do my back bend. Yeah, so I'm not inherently flexible. So I try to curl uh, to the back by coiling in and out of the joints of the shoulders and the hips. And then you will see lots of adjustment as we go along. All right, so kneeling back bends. And you may start by walking your knees like this. You can even circle around, yeah. bending and stretching those elbows at the back. Yeah. Keep walking those knees and rub the shoulders around. You can swing the biceps forward and backwards. All right, make sure you do this drill after your warming, okay? So, the breath. You might lightly relax the hips, breathing in, draw up to the vertical, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, breathing in. And then when you feel yeah, your hips, the front of your spine is open, you may reach one hand at the back, right? exhale, breathing in, and the other hand as well, and exhale. Okay, and then here, you may adjust the knees by walking them, lightening your hands, and at the same time, Breathe through it. Now, every time you attempt you know, to go high, breathing in, and exhale, soften. Inhale, adjust the other one, and soften. All right, and then here, yeah, your head is open, but you're not too relaxed at the back. Good, and exhale. All right, so let's progress this to the Kaputasana. Okay, loosen the hands, and exhale back to the middle. Okay, and then just walk your knees again. So that's how you practice the Ustrasana without too much muscular effort. It's more of like waving and swaying and then breathing through the motion and adjusting your body parts. Because yeah, one of the challenges of the back bend is since we are on the knees and then there's less mobility. So by adjusting and by lifting your body parts, you can experience the lightness needed for the spine to relax. Okay, now, Ustrasana, same setup. You know, dancing side to side like this. Yeah, you can even do this. <laughs> this feels good. And exhale it. All right, you may start with your hands to your chest. Or you can do this, breathing in, and exhale. All right, inhalation, watch my toes, inhale, exhale, relax the toes. Yeah. You may place your hands yeah, to your chin, or you can use your hand to let the throat open, breathing in, and exhale, loosen. All right, pay attention to my arms. I'm not squeezing, rather I'm moving my shoulders in front of the front of the body uh, so that the arm bones can suspend backwards. All right, you might lightly open the elbows, exhale, inhale, watch my toes, inhale, and exhale. And then here, if you feel like your arms and shoulders are tired or heavy, you can walk the knees and sway side to side, and at the same time, coiling, like, like you're moving your arm bones to the opposite, like a spiral, and scoop it up and exhale. All right, relax. Yeah, elbows may go wide to make room for the chest to open upwards. Exhaling, breathing in. Exhaling, yeah, inhale. Exhale, you can use your toes, breathing in. 
and exhale, relax them, and hands to your heels. Beautiful. All right, and then here you can lightly lift up, so you can rub the shoulders around, and then wave the bit of a side to side, and walk your knees towards the midline. Okay, now inhaling, your elbows go narrow, and at the top of the breath, let your head and your elbows relax. Good, breathe. Okay, to come up, inhale, and you can loosen, hands down, exhale. Okay, you may even refine the experience, inhaling, walking your knees, exhale, inhale the other one, <laughs> and exhale, and remain. Okay, inhale, come up, all the way up, exhale, folding the hips slightly back, and inhale, walking your knees, and release those shoulders as well. Okay, so, as opposed to fighting it yeah, and enforcing it, try to relax. Yeah? I know this is easier said than done because our spine have its natural way of protecting itself. So the moment it feels the pressure, it will bounce forward. Yeah. But yeah, by utilizing our toes yeah, and the breath, and of course, yeah, the distinct adjustment of the arms. So like you're waving like this. Good. So you're moving the heaviness of the shoulders out of the way and creating the length. Yeah. I don't have a name for this yeah, transition or technique, but it serves me. Yeah, that's how I feel the energy inside. It's not linear. Yeah, it's not perfectly straight. Somehow, as you work your way through the asana, your joints turn in and out like gears. And in the process of doing that, you allow your spine to open without pressure and your pain. Yeah, so hopefully yeah, this lesson helps you add yeah, to your library of thoughts, your library of learnings, and your library of experiences. Good. I'll see you in the next one. Have a meaningful practice. Namaste.